You may think that setting world records is something that not really anyone can achieve, something that only us peasants in everyday life can look up to and dream about. I'm pretty sure all of us would think that not just anyone could become some kind of dude perfect 2.0 overnight and smash out records that have never been accomplished by anyone before, but that is where you're wrong my guy, because in the reality, it's actually a lot different and beyond all the clickbait. And so as you read in the title, in one year I myself managed to break over 10 verified and official world records. Some may or may not be included with uh, some help from none other than the wonderful people that for whatever reason make the number under my videos go up every single time I post. That's right, you. So you've technically already kind of broken some world records already, but not really, but kind of, but yeah. I'll explain. Also, in this video, I'm going to go over exactly why I'm not just some demigod that descended from the world record heavens above, and I'm just by no means nothing special. How you can do this, and even more so for yourself. The thing that people don't want you to know about this is that doing things that literally no other human being has ever done before is actually surprisingly dang easy. Well, okay, it may not be just that easy, but it's at the very least pretty simple. I'll guarantee that literally everyone watching this as of right now is capable of doing this without even breaking a sweat. Nice cut and dry and to the point. So let's get straight into that. First of all, my name is Dallas, also known as Inferness by my friends. No, I don't actually have friends, but I'll let you know that if you consider subscribing to this channel, I just might call you a friend of mine for the first time, which will make you the first at doing something. So maybe that's kind of equivalent to a world record. I don't really know. Just do it anyways. Okay, anyways, to get one thing clear, world records are usually certified by a company or organization that specializes in world record certification. Okay, that was the most pointless sentence I've ever said in my entire life, but I think you get it. Anyone could just say they did something cool, but basically, to put it simply, picks or didn't happen. As annoying as that sounds, that's just kind of the way it works. We need proof out here. That's why companies such as Guinness exists. Their main goal is to verify that a talented person can achieve something no one else can and then put them all together into some nice yearbook, which is for some reason on average half the cost of an ordinary school yearbook, which makes my whole life for the first 12 years of my existence feel like nothing more than a cash grab. But the thing is, it turns out that you don't actually have to be talented. You just need to do something that no one has ever attempted. So make sure you watch to the end of this video so I can explain, okay? And also enter my free gift card giveaway. Just kidding. Let me start off by going through each one I managed to do. First in January of last year, I managed to get the official Instagram world record set in stone. A video I made on my channel quite a while ago, I showed off my apparently decent skills at getting Instagram clout. 0 to 20k followers in 24 hours, and I actually received a plaque for that within a week of it happening, which was kind of like crazy fast. Although it's kind of cheating since I broke this record almost two years ago, it just got official last year, so I'm putting it in anyways, deal with it. Next, I managed to break a two-time world record for the largest Minecraft city ever made. Yep, that's right, I actually am a Minecraft pro gamer in disguise. Okay, but this was actually achieved by a team of dedicated designers and builders, including me, with a bit too much time on our hands. The first record happened in February 2019, and then it was taken away quite swiftly after that by another Minecraft project a couple months later. And then after that, we reachieved it just last month, and I have yet to receive any plaque for any of those two, but they still have pages on the Guinness World Record website. So later on, I decided to break a few YouTube world records, the first being growing my channel. I managed to get a YouTube channel from 0 to 1,000 subs without any outside help under 24 hours so yeah it was kind of a two-part thing because the original world record i made was in four days but it was actually beaten uh you know about a year later so rest in peace but i still got the plaque for the first one so jokes on you and then of course the legendary subway surfers world record i'm still in the process of actually breaking another world record based off this game the live stream of which is still going on on my channel right now. Pretty much I programmed a robot to play subway servers for a year, just like how I programmed a robot to give my YouTube channel subscribers. <laughs> Oh, um, so one for the most amount of points gained and one for the longest game played by far. And if that wasn't enough, I decided to take it to the next level and do another world record for a similar game called Temple Run just a little bit after that. Unfortunately, I didn't get the most points scored because Guinness could not actually verify that it was even possible to go above a 32-bit limit in terms of the score, but the longest time played was still there for me. Good job, me, even though I didn't actually even play it, so. And then finally, the longest time digging in Minecraft, which is still going on right now, which when it's done, it'll also be the longest Minecraft stream ever, which is another two world records combined in one. The second longest being 
960 hours straight. So I'll link some of the official pages for these records in the description to show you guys that I'm not just pulling your leg. And hopefully I'll be able to show you some physical proof as in the plaques and stuff eventually. I only have a couple of them right now. But the point is you want to know how to do this all the same. You want world record plaques hanging on your wall because why not? It feels good to be a winner after all, and it's easy. The process is similar to how you can technically vote for anyone being president of the United States, whether they're actually even running or not. And yeah, actually, believe it or not, that is kind of how it works. Same thing goes for this. World records aren't just some challenge tossed out by Guinness World Records that has to be competed against by millions of people. After all, this one company couldn't possibly come up with all these crazy ideas on their own. There has to be a first record setter. And that's you in this case. You can quite literally submit any world record attempt at anything that comes to your mind using the page I'll have linked below. And it will be at the top so you can easily find it, I promise. And if you can provide legitimate proof, show the process, preferably through a YouTube video since that's the easiest way to do it, or even demonstrate it to someone who works for Guinness through YouTube, that's it. You're golden. It's literally that simple. No money or talent needed. Well, maybe, depending on what you're trying to achieve. I'm not going to just sit here and tell you that you are guaranteed to get Guinness to send you a plaque or something like that. But the way I achieved all mine was just through a little submission form, and that's it. Now the hard part. Thinking of ideas on what to do that's notable that hasn't been done before. Well, not really, because guess what? That's already been done for you as well. There's another website which I'll have linked down below, which will give you a concurrent list of all kinds of random, challenging things that absolutely no one has ever achieved, and that are Guinness World Record qualified. So yeah, you can literally have a world record in a few minutes if you think about it. So what are you waiting for? Go amaze the world, my dude, it's never been easier. Oh, you're still here? Well, then you might as well just burn off some calories and hit the like button because, well, that's better than nothing. Okay, bye.